What's up, y'all? This is Chris from Scarce City. I've just come across a new thing. It's called LN Markets. It's kind of blowing my mind right now, so I wanted to do a quick video on what this thing is and why I think it's special. So LN Markets is a web app to trade derivatives on the Lightning Network. What this means is it's a way to bet on the direction of Bitcoin's price. And since it's all on the Lightning Network, it's totally permissionless, pseudonymous, and private. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, that sounds like a great way to get wrecked, you're not far off. I like to think of it as it's like playing Russian roulette in the desert, except while one bullet gets you wrecked, there's another bullet that airdrops you a pile of sats. And because it's on the privacy of lightning, no one cares if you get wrecked or stack some sats because you're in the freaking desert and no one knows you're there. But playing Russian roulette in the desert, it's only one cool thing about LN markets. The way you log in with lightning is what's really getting me excited here. A while back we wrote about how lightning nodes can be used as decentralized IDs and how this can offer the internet we were promised. It was fun and good but kind of theoretical. LN Markets gives the first real glimpse into what this can look like in the wild with a pretty slick UX. It's something we're amped about integrating into Scarce City to help people buy the finest Bitcoin goods on Bitcoin with ease and privacy. So let's check this thing out. All right, so there are a few ways to log into LN Markets. We're first gonna go in through Jewel, which is a lightning wallet in your browser. It's similar to MetaMask, except it uses Bitcoin and it's on lightning. We select login and confirm our sign in with our wallet signature. And now that we're in, we need to deposit some sats to place our bets. I'm gonna be a degenerate here and throw in 100,000 sats, which is about 10 bucks. I copy my invoice and paste it into my Jewel wallet. And I'm able to make the transaction for a one sat fee, which is like a hundredth of a penny, uh, pretty wild. I can see the transaction has gone through on both my wallet and LN markets. And now I'm ready to get wrecked for real. You can either go long or short Bitcoin, use market or limit orders, set profit loss levels, and leverage up your position up to 50X. I'm just going to place a simple long bet here with 37,000 sats and boom, I'm long the corn. You can see me getting wrecked in real time through my PL here. And now if I'm feeling the FUD, I can go ahead and close my position and what's left of my balance is restored and I'm ready to get wrecked again. And just to show you what not to do, I'm going to go full degen and short the corn with a simple trade. Boom, I'm short and instantly losing sats. Amazing. Uh, now that I've had my fun, I'm gonna go ahead and close the position and go ahead and withdraw the sats I've salvaged. All I have to do is select my full balance and withdraw to my jewel wallet and boom, no invoice or anything. My remaining sats are sent from my LN Markets balance to my jewel wallet. All right, so Joel is really sick, but you do have to run your own Lightning node to use it. If you're not already a node running Lightning OG, it's no problem. There are a few solutions that are on their way to help. One that I've been taking for a spin is Voltage. It's a service that makes it easy to create and control a remote, always on Lightning node. It hasn't been released yet, but here's a peek under the hood. You can check out my node settings here, and they make it really easy to connect to your own Jewel wallet or any other Lightning wallet of your choice. Drop them an email at getvoltage.io and they'll let you know when they're ready for you. Another cool way to get into LN Markets is through LN URL. I'm not going to attempt to butcher the technical explanation of how it works, but what you really need to know here is that it makes it easy to do things like withdraw sats and even log into apps by just scanning a QR code with your Lightning wallet which is exactly what I'm gonna do here with my Phoenix mobile wallet. I scan the QR code and I'm in, and similar to before, I need to deposit some sats. And since I'm still feeling the pain from my last trades, I'm gonna keep this one limited to 1000 sats. I scan the invoice QR code with my wallet, and once again, I'm ready to get wrecked in all the same ways I showed you before. The point with these lightning login approaches is you get all of the benefits of an app profile like easy deposits, withdraws, and trades. 
and a saved history of this activity without giving up any personal information whatsoever. I'm going to leave you with the status of the different wallets adopting LN URL. Specifically for the purpose of logging into Lightning apps, we need LN URL auth. You have a few options here, but they are Android only. So iPhone users are unfortunately SOL for the time being. Among them, I like Phoenix for its mix of being non-custodial, but still easy to use. Definitely check them out. And once you are running your own Lightning node, be sure to check out Jewel. And finally, check us out at Scarce City. We are building a marketplace for Bitcoin clothing and art that uses Bitcoin, Lightning, and future Layer 3 protocols to give creators and customers the benefits of verifiable authenticity and supply. Sign up for a mailing list at scarce.city and follow us on Twitter.